Many rum brands are based in Europe, colonial legacies, easier logistics than the US and consumer demand ensured centuries of trading, blending and bottling. It's time to put this region on the map. Politics aside, I've included the British Isles for geographical reasons. Let's dive in. Hello, Hendo here. Welcome to Rum Region Deep Dive Europe. In this video, we'll explore rum making across the continent and British Isles. European countries are not suitable for growing sugarcane, so import molasses or trade with bulk supply from the Caribbean or other regions to create brands. Here I'll cover the British Isles, the Nordics, Low Countries, France, Central Europe and Southern Europe. European powers defined rum and rules globally for taxes, wars, revolutions, AOC, GI, PGI and EU laws. The main colonising countries were Spain, Portugal, Netherlands, France and England and Britain. But powerful trading companies and maritime merchants preceded the nations we know today. Rum was made by European colonists and African slaves in the Caribbean. Chattel slavery, triangular trade routes, sugar production preceded rum making. Near East Arabs first introduced sugar cane and sugar to the Mediterranean region. Then over time it was taken to the Canaries, West Africa, to the Caribbean. Then trade winds brought it back to the Northern Europe. Let's start in the British Isles. Sugar first came to England in the 11th century by Crusaders. Royal Navy formed 1546. English colonial power battled with the French and Spanish. British imposed Molasses Act 1733, 1766 and Sugar Tax 1764 to control the supply of British colonies. Jamaica officially became a British colony 1670. British Empire after the Union of Scotland 1707 peaked early 1800s. The abolition of slavery in 1838 was slow to end brutal practices. Ports of Liverpool, uh, Bristol, Glasgow, key trading cities, merchants networked across the globe. Glasgow, the second city of the empire, had quicker sailing times and merchant networks. Sugar from the Caribbean created a sugar boom 1790s to 1838. Sugar aristocracy, sugar houses and Glasgow rum punch and drinking clubs. Between 1660s and 1750, the city was a hub of rum production. Imported sugar cane and byproduct molasses. Sugar refineries 1765 at Greenock and Glasgow. There's no doubt Glasgow and Scotland profited from slavery. In 1656, Scots and prisoners of war were deported to Jamaica by Cromwell. Religious exiles and Jacobites worked alongside African slaves. In Barbados they were known as Red Legs. In the Caribbean, a third of Jamaican plantations were owned by Scots in the late 1700s. Merchants acquired land and cleared it for sugar plantations. Robert Burns considered a plantation bookkeeper job Jamaica 1786, but never went. Links to Jamaica are still seen in the city today with Jamaica Street, Kingston Bridge, Hamden Football Stadium is the same name as Jamaica's iconic Hamden Estate rum dating back to the 1730s Scottish Stirling family. Money Musk Distillery in Jamaica, named of an Aberdeenshire village. 1800s grocers blended tea and rum before whiskey. Distilling skills learned, but rum fell out of fashion as Scotland switched to blended whiskey in the late 19th century. Today's Scottish rum distilling scene is vibrant. J. Gow rum from Orkney, North Point Pilot rum, Skerra Spice rum, Asphill rum from the island of rum. Beechcraft Spirits in Murray and Aberdeenshire Dark Matter Spice Rum Distillery kicked off the recent resurgence 2015. Devil's Point Rum, Sea Shanty Rum, 500 Cuts Botanical Rum by Brewdog, Dunedin Rum at Strathairn Distillery is Persia, Pixel White Rum in Ballyhoolish and Rumbura. Uh, five since 2019. Edinburgh rum by Glean Moore Spirits. Sea Wolf White rum since 2016. NB rum from North Berwick Distillery since 2017. Matuga rum in Livingston since 2015 has at least African flavour profile. In Glasgow, historical brands, Black Heart Rum, Blended Caribbean Rum, OVD, Ovati Demerara, first blended 1838, Watson's Demerara since 1933, Troller Rum, Owners, Ian McLeod Distillers revived Jamaican brand Lang's Banana Rum last year. There's Wester Rum in Party, Bandite Club Spice Rum by Glasgow Distillery and Cockers, uh, Dark Rum, Jacobite Spirits, the 45 Spice Rum, Charlie Chopper, Clean Cut, Discarded Spirits by William Grant's Banana Peel Rum, Ninefold Distillery makes pure single rum in Dumfries, 
Ron Cabazon and Cabo Rum. Now to English Rum, also a mix of Navy style Caribbean sourced indie bottlers, craft distillers and spice flavour or botanical rums. The Royal Navy Daily Rum Talk was officially recognised 1731, issued until 1970. Barbados was a British naval base in 1665, Jamaica was colonised and rum making was common there. Cemented rums demand. Woods Navy Rum used the original recipe from 1887. Purser's Rum is actually blended bottled in the Caribbean, British Virgin Islands. In 2010, Alexia Distillers launch Black Tot Rum. Lamb's Navy Rum from 1849, a London wine and spirits merchant using a blend of 18 different Caribbean rums. Berry Brothers and Rudd Merchants traces back to 1698 Bottles Rum. Also owns Pink Pigeon Rum. Bristol Classic Rum is a bottle of single cast from iconic Caribbean distillers. Maison Rum is an indie bottler owned by Marusa Beverages. That Boutique Rum Company is another indie bottler by Atom Brands. Smith & Cross Rum, Old Salt Rum from 2012, Great Yeldham Hall Distillery, Cranbyshire. Scratch Rum Distillery in Herefshire since 2016. St Pirin's Cornish Rum, two drifters in Devon with a carbon negative rum distillery. Black Tor Rum is blended in Dartmoor. Admiral Vernon's Old J Spice Rum, Rum Bullion uses Caribbean Rum, then Spice to Abelforth St Kent. Duppy Shears Rum means Angel Shear by Westbourne Drinks London. Neptune Rum, Lost Years Rum, Alnwich Rum, O'Hara's Spice Rum, East London Liquor Company, Demerara Rum, Hawksbill Spice Rum, Bristol and Bath Rum Distillery, Premium Harrogate Rum, Yorkshire Dales Rum, Faraday's Proof White Rum is distilled at the Manchester Still, Liverpool Rum, Salford Rum and Liverpool Lost Dock Spice Rum are both inspired by their docks. The main rum company in Liverpool sell by the Barrow and owned by E.A. Shear, Netherlands. Then there's various flavoured rum brands, Red Leg Spice Rum, Kraken Rum, Belgrove Pure Demerara, Hazelnut Rum named after William Belgrove, an 18th century rum pioneer, Cut Rums, Rockstar Spirits Rums, Pe Peaky Blinder Spice Rum, Bombo, Cloven Hoof Spice Rum, Dead Man Finger Range and a Bristol Spice Rum. In Wales there's Barty Rum named after a Welsh pirate, Welsh Witch Rum, Devil's Bridge Spice Rum, Spirit of Wales Spice Rum, Wreckers Welsh Rum blends Pembrokeshire Craft Rum with Dark Caribbean Rum, Siddiqui White Rum, Four Feathers Golden Rum, uh, Eccentric Black Batch Rum. In Ireland there are blends of imported Caribbean Spirit Black Spiced Irish Rum, but Ion Distillery is Whiskey Cast Spice Rum, all made in County Tyrone. And now to the Nordics. Denmark was a European colonial power. As A.H. Riese, Royal Danish Dark Navy Rum, they supplied their navy. Dark and Stormy is a favourite drink there. Rum and ginger beer. Enghaven Rum Distillery makes pure small batch pot still rum in North Denmark. Nyborg Distillery blends Latin rum with Danish rum. 1423 World Class Spirits established 2008 as Ron Esclavo brand with Solera Rum from Dominican Republic. Companero flavoured Panamanian rums, SBS single barrel selection with about 15 bottlings and rum tasting calendar 24 days of rum. EKTA Spirits Rums by Daniel Baskunin, founder of Rum Club Copenhagen, blends Caribbean rum, Carib Ron, blended Caribbean rum. Introduced in 2011 by Soren Bayer of HJ Hansen Van Liquor Store, Bronstein Distillery bottles of Caribbean rum and then there's a one cutter rum from Esberg. In Finland, Rum Ur at Oland, Base is smacked by distillery Ua is Swedish for Ireland. In Sweden, you have the Rum Swedes Indie Bottler sourcing Caribbean rum, and Holy Spirit rum is created by Sweden Rock Festival. Indonesian rum Iraq, made by sugarcane, first brought to Sweden from Java 1733, became a traditional drink. Facile rum, Exo rum liqueur. If you want to know brand sugar content, Alco publishes, and so does the Swedish Monopoly uh, system Balaga. Now to the Low Countries. You have the Dutch colonies in East West Indies, Belgian Congo. Dutch had colonies from Indonesia, Brazil, New York to Dutch West Indies of Aruba, Curaçao and St. Martin. The Dutch shipped sugar cane, sugar production, slaves and rum making from northern Brazil to the Caribbean. Zydum distillers started back in 1975. Rum, more recently the Flying Dutchman rum, using sugarcane molasses and copper pot stills, aged in small barrels. Rummy Club opened rum distillery in Amsterdam 2019, makes white and overproof rum. Also in Amsterdam is Spirited Union since 2017, the first botanical rum distillery sourcing single origin rums, fused botanicals, spice and sea, lemon and leaf, orange and ginger. Estaro Brown rum brand uses Caribbean rum, 1731 fine and rare. It's an indie bottle of Caribbean 
Caribbean rums. E.A. Shear goes back to 1762, now focuses on bulk buying rum, blending it, reselling it. They work at a massive scale Amsterdam warehouse and port facilities, but no casks of rum age there and none are sold under their own name. They sell Caribbean spirit to brands like Black Top Banks and Dos Maderas, uh, Navy Island. Rum brands without their own distillery. ODB Beverages Netherlands has Mates Rum, Wenneker Distilleries established 1693 has Bukatiki Spice Rum, the Duchess Independent Bottler by Nils van Rijn. The Belgian rum has Haven rums created to be used by bartenders, Wald's End rum in Ghent, Hoot Spice Rum, Infamous Rum No. 1 Spice Rum, Marlin Spike Rum, Churchill's Barrel Rum, 100% Belgian made in West Flanders, Save the Queen Rum is sourced from E.A. Shear, 1836 Organic Rum, Bon Vivant Rum using Caribbean Rum and Belle Roy's by Antwerp bartenders. France, one of the big five colonial powers with enormous empire and hugely influential in rum making, French overseas departments of Martinique, Guadeloupe, Guiana, Reunion and French Polynesia I've covered in other region videos. So I'll focus in metropolitan France. Rum with an H only means rum in French, doesn't indicate the agricultural or agricultural style. French rum has learnt from the know-how of cognac and even Scotland's caste management. French East India Company historically cognac techniques of alambic stills, French distilling, influence spread Caribbean, Indian Ocean across Asia Pacific, and now many craft distills opt for the French agricultural style. Rum was popular in 18th century French Caribbean, but banned in France to protect domestic wine and cognac. Smuggled into Parisian cafes in 1790s, punch or rum. 1792 French Revolution protests were for rising sugar prices, one of the most important commodities in France. Sugar imports slowed as Napoleon pushed sugar beet production to wean the country off Caribbean sugar. Martinique imports fell and they adapted to making rum agricole and column stills arrived early in these islands. 1840 beet sugar surpassed cane sugar the French and German markets. Then 1850s rum imports skyrocketed. 1854 prohibition and duty was removed. Philoxford disease wiped out the wine and brandy industry. The French switched to rum and so entered a la grande époque. So let's take a tour around the country. Bordeaux it was the rum capital of France for over 100 years with direct sea links to the Caribbean. 1755 Marie Brazat uh, started producing aniseed liqueur. Then in 1869 two brothers from Bordeaux decided to create their own rum brand Moco uh, importing rums from French Caribbean ending production 1960s, but it was resurrected by family members in 2017. Distillery Moon Harbour in Bordeaux Rum Blanc Rum Gold use a mix of unrefined cane sugar and Mauritius molasses ages some rum in their own whiskey barrels. He Joy Rum based in Bordeaux Sembles and bottles Caribbean rums in Cognac region. Distillery Coulee Corn in the Loire uses a rum recipe dating back to 1881. Beau's Distillery north of Toulouse Seds Rums makes bottled rum punches near Nantes. Les Rum de Sed uh, bottles with macerated fruits. In 19th century there were more than 100 brands of rums in Marseille. In 2010, Guillaume Ferroni Old Mandana is the oldest of the Marseille rum brands to survive, founded in 1897. Originally Martinique rum aged in Marseille, six months in cognac barrels. Then there's La Maison de Whiskey, a large spirit distributor created uh, independent rum bottlings, transcontinental rum line and rum of the world. 2017, La Maison de Whiskey in France and Valley in Italy signed a partnership company called LM and V. Offering iconic rums like Habitation Valley, Claren from Haiti, Hamden Dynasty and Caroni rums. Maison Ferrand head office in Versailles has plantation brand of Caribbean and Central American rums going back to 1990s by Alexander Gabriel. Uh, they promote rum terroir use cognac aging, double aging, continental aging or slow aging in France. They own West Indies rum distillery in Barbados, Claridon distillery and Long Pond distillery. Plantation rum announced last year plans to change the name to support racial equality and creating the first floating cellar in Europe storing cask on a barge. Francois Zavé Duga of Duga, a leading distributor of spirits in France from suburbs of Paris, created La Maison de Rum brand bottles rums from all over the world, retro travel labels, as Compagnie de Indies, named after former East India Company, an independent bottle of single cast rums based in Bone, Burgundy. Maison Goulas, family roots going back eight centuries in years, Armagnac makers, they now independent bottlers of rum. 
Now to Central Europe, uh, we start in Germany. Sugar beet, a uh, German chemist discovered that sugar beet roots contained the same sugar as sugar cane. Cultivation took off the turn of the 19th century during the Napoleonic Wars as the English blockade of continental Europe cut off sugar cane supplies from the West Indies. By 1850, the sugar beet industry was well established in Europe. By 1880, it outstripped cane sourced sugar. Starting in Germany, there are 29,000 working distilleries in Germany. They have a heritage of making spirits. In the 17th century near Hamburg, rum Verschnitt was a type of inexpensive blend made of 95% locally produced spirit topped up with ester rums. These rums brought back from Jamaica. Imported rum was taxed by quantity, not the level of alcohol, so these ester rums were highly concentrated. German rum dynasties rose and there were around 30 rum houses in Flensburg area. Johansson still produces 10 varieties of rum Verschnitt and the oldest remaining came to be known as Inlander rum, domestic rum. Pot rum 54% first produced in the 1970s, named after the founder. Bon planned rum is blended and aged in Germany. Today Don Ruffin, inspired by Verschnitt since 2013, making pure rum molasses from Paraguay, copper pot still aged in French and American oak, finished in sherry cask, revolt rum near Frankfurt, taps into their winemaking heritage and uses Papua New Guinea molasses, butter bud by Spreewood Distillers in Eastern Germany 2016, Fuhrfalter blends a Caribbean with German and modern for Schnitt wave 50-50. Ron Elba launched in Hamburg 2016. No additives, molasses comes from Mauritius. Grass brut rum named after island on the river Elba where sugar molasses from Nicaragua came to Germany. Launched 2015 near Frankfurt. Stro 80 is a flavoured rum from Austria since 1832. Fiery, overproof dark rum, 80% was made with sugar beet, but now sugar cane molasses. Now to Czechia, our big rum consumers, Tuzimak means domestic, was forced to drop rum name in 2004 by EU. Sales 100 million a year, but EU is asked to change the recipe because cancer causing ingredient. Boskov Republica exclusive rum, uh, Domici in Slovenia. Uh, Chinese, there's Badel, Domici in Croatia, Lithuania, there's Propella Dart Rum, Vanna Tallinn, Estonia's Rum Liqueur. Now to Southern Europe, colonial powers, maritime merchants and the lure of the New World. Cyprus was the earliest European sugar producer with sugar cane from the Near East. First recorded export of Cyprus sugar was 1301, the Genovese merchant in Pisa. King Peter of Cyprus gifted rum in 1364. By 16th century, most Cyprus sugar was exported to Venice. The the era was 14th to the 16th century, but was then surpassed by Madeira, Canary Islands, New World and the slave labour took over. Now to Spain, Costa Tropical and Granada's coast was the centre of rum and sugar cane production since the time of the Moors in the 10th century. The Moors covered Costa Tropical in sugar cane plantations. 1493 Christopher Columbus took sugar cane to the Caribbean and married the daughter of a sugar cane planter from Madeira. The sugar cane failed. Later they brought in experts from the Canary Islands to help get it established. During early Caribbean rum years, the Spanish crown forbid distilled spirits in its colonies. Only after 1796, 19th century column stills replaced the pot stills, charcoal filtering, the lighter stills much preferred by the Spanish crown. Bacardi was founded by Spanish-born immigrant. Granada City was built from sugarcane industry money. Motril was nicknamed Little Cuba. One time there were 30 producers along the Costa Tropical. That's long gone. The last commercial sugarcane harvest took place in 2006. And only Ron Montero remains today. Founded in 1963, the only molasses distillery in Spain and ages new barrels. Canary Island's main sugar producers shut down 1920s and in 1960s. Established in 1877, Williams and Humba are based in Jerez in the south of Spain. Famous for sherries and brandy, Dos Maderas rum means two woods in Spanish. They bring tropical aged Caribbean rum back to Spain and further aged sherry casks. All the rums are aged in Solera system, various expressions like selection only a blend of 10 year old rums. Then there's Ron Aldea from La Palma since 1936, Cavedo family reopened 1969. The founder worked in Cuba and Dominican Republic sugar industry, then came home, set up Ron Aldea Distillery. In Madrid, Santa Mena Craft Distillery since 2013, launched Ron Mentidero. 
Portugal, as mentioned in my South America rum region video, 1532, the Portuguese royal family colonised Brazil to expand sugarcane production there. Portuguese colonists were linked to the maritime merchants and were initially more interested in Asia and Africa. I've listed the Madeira rum distilleries in the Africa region video because it's proximity to Africa. I'll leave a link here. The Portuguese enslaved Africans to conduct labour, 80 sugar mills and 300 plantations in Madeira, which became the world's biggest sugar exporter by 1500. Madeira had many rum distilleries, only a few left, but seen a rum renaissance and make sugar cane juice spirit. Today, Italy is a top importer and exporter of rum, the first evidence of large-scale spirit distillation 14th century in Modena. Historically, the maritime republics of Venice and Genoa heavily influenced Western Europe. Genoa was the birthplace of Christopher Columbus. Uh, the Venetians were a religious and trading powerhouse. Sugar traded from the Byzantine Empire 10th century crusaders. By 14th century, Genovese controlled sugar plantations in South Spain and raided West Africa for slaves. 1500, the Genovese controlled two-thirds of Madeira's sugar production. Today, Avila rum in southeast Sicily is the only sugarcane plantation in Italy. Sugarcane was first introduced there by the Arabs in the 8th century. By 14th century, there were 30 states near Palermo, and in the 1600s, it started to decline. Italian Luca Gagano is one of the most famous people in rum industry. Veli was founded in Genoa in 1947. 1983, Luca Gagano acquired shares under stewardship in the 1990s, brought unique rums to the market. He created the colonial classification in 1993. Spanish, French and English style rums then Gargano classification with Richard C.O. Foursquare in 2015. Samaroli is an Italian independent bottler and whiskey broker founded by the late Silvano Samaroli in Rome 1968 known as a maestro independent bottling castor and scotch whiskey then rum their art labels are iconic. The rum is sent to Scotland to further mature and often bottled at 45% EBV. Another scotch whiskey bottler Wilson and Morgan founded in 1992 by Fabio Rosso CEO of Rossi and Rossi took advice from Silvano Samaroli and created Rum Nation 1999 sources of Latin rums postage stamps and areas of origin on the labels instead of distillery names Borrowed about 40-45% EBV. Rossi now owns Ron Melanario, brand from Peru. Also bottles Guadeloupe, Remonek, uh, distillery bottlings under Rossi and Rossi. So that rounds off the tour. Probably missed a few. Let us know a bit more about European rum. It's on the rise and growing. Tell us what you think. Put your favourites in the comments. Watch the other rum videos in the series. And if you're interested in projects, contact us at hendotalks.com. As always, welcome your feedback. I hope this was useful to you in some way. And until next time, thanks very much for watching.